The next one is reversible process. Yeah, the title itself says that it is a reversible process. Cyclic, non-cyclic are almost similar to the reversible and irreversible process. In cyclic process, the path repeats itself after experiencing the change in pressure, volume and temperature. But in case of reversible, the system and surroundings both will come to the initial state after experiencing these all. But in case of cyclic, there is no possibility for the system and surroundings to come to the initial state. That is the only difference between the reversible and cyclic. So in reversible, it is a process. Where the system and surroundings comes to the initial state after experiencing the changes in the physical quantities. So the physical quantities that are going to change in this type of process are pressure, volume, temperature. If pressure, volume, temperature goes on changing in the expansion, the same they should retain in the case of compression. So the graph will be like this. So this is the expansion A to C via B. And it is again returning to the A via D. So this is called reversible process. In this reversible process, the total work done is almost zero because it is a conservative work. The best reversible process what we can experience is quasi-static process. So this process must be slow, one means it should start with the slow nature and the ending is also slow. And third one, there is no net heat energy was exchanged. was exchanged one and one more thing it is simply an ideal case because there will be no loss due to the friction in heat it is simply an ideal case no loss in heat energy no loss of heat energy due to friction or any factor What are the examples for this reversible process? First one, converting ice to water is an example. And water to ice where ice to water is increase in the temperature and water to ice is decrease in the temperature. So what we can expect is water to ice is such an example for the reversible process by keeping the temperature constant. The second one is converting the steam to water. So in steam to water, steam is at 100 degrees Celsius initially water will be at room temperature so it is converting to decrease the temperature of the state so it is also irreversible so like this we can define and give the examples for the reversible process
The next process which is exactly opposite to the reversible process that is titled as irreversible process. The irreversible process which does not come to the initial state after experiencing the changes in the physicals. So the process which doesn't come to the initial state So the process which doesn't come to the initial state after experiencing the changes. This type of process are called irreversible process. What are the examples? We are rubbing our hands to produce the heat means these two hands are moving against each other to overcome the friction. Because of this overcoming the friction, heat is produced. But we are not moving our hands to produce the heat or we are not mo moving our hands to experience the heat in the forward direction. That is said to be irreversible process. So, rubbing hands produces the heat. But heat is not bringing the hands closer. Hands closer. This is one of the example for the irreversible process. The second one. Take two gases of different pressures. If these two are mixed together, after that one uh, one gaseous form will created but that gaseous form may not be in the same pressure as the initials are there it is very difficult to remove the pressures from those mixture so that is the uh, one of the example for the irreversible process mixing is possible separation is not possible mixing of two gases which are at different pressures is possible but separation is not possible so like this we can define and give the examples for the irreversible process if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.